गाइस इज शिवांगी एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल फर्स्टली आई रियली होप दैट यू ऑल आर कीपिंग सेफ लाइक द सिचुएशन इज प्रिटी बैड राइट नाउ बट एवरीवन इज होपिंग दैट इट विल गेट बेटर सून आई ट्रूली ट्रूली होप दैट यू आर नॉट स्टेपिंग आउट फॉर नो रीजन एंड यू जस्ट टेकिंग ऑल द प्रिकॉशन स्टे सेफ गाइस इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू स्टे सेफ ओके आई ऑनेस्टली डिड नॉट नो व्हाट कंटेंट टू मेक बट टुडे आई वाज सॉर्टिंग माय आई शैडो पैलेट सो आई थॉट दैट आई जस्ट शेयर माय कलेक्शन विद यू now in no way i'm implying that everyone should have so many eyeshadow palettes i like to collect eyeshadow palettes some people like to collect bags some people like to collect shoes i am somebody who gets excited about eyeshadow palettes so that's why i have so many of them now 98% of the palettes which you're going to see here were bought with my own hard earned money i don't get a lot of pr guys like especially makeup like i really don't get a lot of makeup in pr so Most of the palettes which you're going to see here were my own investment. I've worked really hard and I've put in money and invested in the palettes to create all the colorful eyeshadow looks which I do. Some of the palettes are you know, also gifted to me, but yeah, I'm just letting you know most of them were my own investment. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. And I've segregated the palettes brand-wise, so I think I'm going to start with Huda Beauty palettes first. All right, these are all the Huda Beauty palettes which I've got. I'm going to start with the smaller ones first. So this is a Gemstone Obsession palette. These are actually eyeshadow toppers mainly. Like you just apply them on top of your eyeshadows for a little bit of sheen, and these are very pretty. A lot of shades are holographic, and I really like holographic shades. By the way, Huda Beauty is one of my favorite brands for eyeshadow palette. Next, I've got four of their Gemstone Obsessions palette. This is Ruby Obsessions. This is Sapphire Obsession. This is Emerald Obsessions, and this is Amethyst Obsessions. Now, next, I've got two of Huda Beauty's neon palettes. This is Orange Neon Palette. I know this is not available in India. I just asked someone to send it from US, and this is the Green Neon Palette. Now coming to the bigger Huda Beauty palettes which I've got. This one is the latest one. This is their Mercury Retrograde palette. I bought it from an online Insta store and this is like original. They sell original stuff. I'll leave their handle in the description box below. So, this is one of the prettiest palettes which I've ever seen, guys. Like it is so so pretty and the shades are like super pigmented and nice. Next, of course, I've got the classic, the Rose Gold Remastered palette. This as well is actually one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from Huda Beauty. It's just so versatile, guys. It's a very good palette. Next, of course, we've got the new nude palette. The formula in Huda Beauty palettes is really really nice guys like they blend so well all the eyeshadows blend really well even the darker shades and the last one which i recently bought in Nykaa's Pink Friday sale was this Desert Dusk palette All right so these were all the palettes from Huda Beauty which i've got now i'm going to show you palettes from Juvia's place All right next time I'm going to show you these four palettes which I've got from Juvia's place so Juvia's is a brand which was launched by a Nigerian woman and her sole purpose was to launch eyeshadow palettes for women of color basically vibrant eyeshadows for people with deeper skin tones and these eyeshadow palettes are pigmented and how guys like these are beautiful beautiful eyeshadow palettes like the pigmentation is insane i'll just show you a swatch like a little bit i'll show you like this is how the pigmentation is it looks beautiful on the eyes and it just pops instantly you don't even need to wet your brush or anything with these palettes this is also an international brand which is based in us uh this one is called the zulu by juvias this is the saharan 2 I'm trying to move the palette so that you can see how the colors are like how shiny they are. Uh this is the Magic Mini. They've got a bigger version of this as well but I just bought the mini one. And this is called the Deuce. This one is very pretty. I love the range of colors in this palette. Moving on to the next brand now. Moving on to ColourPop palettes guys I've only got three ColourPop palettes I've got their It's My Pleasure Ulala and Yes Please palette 
so they've got these mini palettes in a lot of different colors and i got the pink and the purple one this is the purple one and this is the pink one this is the yes please palette and this was also my first color pop palette all right next is morphe so i've got three morphe palettes guys this is morphe 35b this palette has been discontinued now now you get the james charles palette but this is the og colorful palette from morphe the next one is jacqueline hill palette this is also one of my first international palettes guys and it is also extremely versatile and the quality is to die for and the last one is of course my favorite the james charles palette i love this palette guys no matter who says what i absolutely absolutely love this palette like the pigmentation is crazy the colors blend beautifully it's so easy to work with honestly it's one of my favorite palettes from my entire collection all right next i've got like these four palettes from different international brands first is pixi by petra this is their neutrals palette it's really pigmented and nice and it's perfect to create those brownish neutral looks this is available in sephora by the way next you know i recently got two faced pretty rich palette Next I've got Norvina from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I actually bought this before it was launched in India and uh, you can see how much I've used this this palette is super pigmented as well Next I've got a palette from Tarte it's their Tarteest Pro palette This is also a beautiful palette guys like it's got few shimmery colors and these are all matte colors really pigmented and this palette smells pretty nice as well like i don't know i think it is their thing and last but not the least i've got this palette from tati beauty this is my current favorite palette like i really can't get enough of this palette guys it is so 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 beautiful i love how she's kept all these different textures in the palette the glitter the metallic the sequin and the matte and guys this black is probably one of the best black eye shadow that i have ever used like it blends seamlessly it's very difficult to blend black eye shadow but this one just blends like butter i love 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 this palette this is definitely my favorite currently okay now moving on to focalure Okay, these are all Focalure palettes which I've got and in all honesty, they did send them to me. These are their Glam Eyes palettes. These are the mini ones. To be honest, Focalure eyeshadow palettes are really nice as well. Like I don't know how many of them are available in India, but they are really pigmented and they are quite pocket friendly as well. These are their Go Travel palettes, so they've got like four palettes with different city names. This one is Paris. This is my favorite Go Travel palette from Focalure. This is Turkey. This is Prague and this is Perth. This is their So Hot palette. This is Sweet as Honey palette. The metallic shades are pretty nice but they're slightly tricky to work with like you have to work them with a wet brush or you have to apply them with your fingers otherwise the pigmentation doesn't come through properly. And this is their Endless Possibilities palette which is a lot like Jaclyn Hill palette to be honest. All right now moving on to brands which are easily available in India starting with Lakme. I got these eyeshadow quads from Lakme. These two actually. These are pretty nice and travel friendly like if you're only into neutral eyeshadows then this one is perfect. These are the latest ones. These are the Infinity eyeshadow palettes. So I've got two shades. First one is this and the second one is this colorful one. And these are the illuminating eyeshadow palettes. I've got this peach one and this one is called Nude Peach. Moving on to Maybelline. These are all the Maybelline palettes which I've got. They're City Mini palettes. Honestly these mini palettes are my favorite from the entire Maybelline eyeshadow collection. 
these are the ones which are really pigmented and nice the rest are just about okay this one is in the shade urban jungle this is their Gigi Hadid palette this is also very nice guys it's super pigmented and this is a colorful one it's called graffiti pop now next I've got their the rock nudes palette and the 24k nudes palette I know these palettes are a little controversial but I just kind of make them work guys whenever I use them. This is their Lemonade Craze palette. This is the only palette from Maybelline which I'm not crazy about because it's, it's just about okay guys. Like the pigmentation is just about okay and the yellow and all it just doesn't show up on the skin. It's very chalky. But yeah, I still use the shimmery shades sometimes. Now moving on to Makeup Revolution and Revolution Pro. So I'm going to start with Revolution Pro palettes. This one is called Allure. These are very nice guys. Like these are quite pocket friendly and nice. The quality is pretty top notch. So again, this one is called Allure and this one is called Intoxicate. This is Makeup Revolution Sofex palette and these two were the first eyeshadow palettes which I bought when I started doing makeup videos. This is their Flawless 4 palette. It is still one of my favorite palettes guys. I think it is excellent for beginners. This is their Fortune Favors The Brave palette. This one as well is a really nice cool tone palette. Okay, next are some of the palettes which I'm just going to show you together. This is the last batch. First is Wet n Wild palettes. This is Rosé in the Air and this one is called Comfort Zone. Beautiful palettes, really nice pigmentation, very easy to work with and pocket friendly. Next, I've got Pack Glitter palettes. These are very, very nice guys. Like if you're looking for you know, if you don't want to invest in a really big glitter palette, these are pretty nice. Next, I've got this tiny Physician's Formula palette, Rose Nude. This was sent to me. I don't really use it much because the matte has a lot of fallout. But uh, again, it's a travel friendly and nice palette. Though, I honestly think the Lacme one is better than this one. I've got pack Earthly Love. I love this palette, guys. This is one of those palettes which i use the most i use these browns and this black for a lot of my makeup looks it comes in handy for a lot of things next i've got two of nika's palettes this one actually came free with one of the things that i bought it's not that nice and this is their just wink it palette sweet sunday this is the one which i bought and this is the one which i really like it's honestly quite pigmented and nice Next, I've got a glitter palette from Root Cosmetics, their United Shades of Glitter Palette. This is a beautiful glitter palette, guys. Like, you can create vibrant looks with it as well and subtle looks with it as well. I really like it. The quality and, you know, the pigmentation. I wouldn't say pigmentation because these are glitters, but the quality is really nice. And lastly, I've got these two palettes from Swiss Beauty. These are the two palettes from Swiss Beauty. I honestly don't use it much. They are slightly difficult to work with, especially the colorful one. I am not the biggest fan of the pigmentation of both these palettes. They're just about okay. Like, I don't really reach out for them much. They're just there, so I just thought that I'll show them to you. And that's it. We're done. So that's about it guys, that was my eyeshadow palette collection. I truly hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then ensure that you do. I post a lot of makeup related content there. And if you have not subscribed to our channel already, then please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of fun content coming up. So ensure that you subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Stay safe and stay healthy guys. I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.